Okay, you've got the parabola y equals x squared, which is this red curve. You've got the line y equals 2x, which is this straight line right here. And you want to revolve the region created by the uh, revolving this red region around the line x equals 2. Okay, and the easiest way to do this is using cylindrical shells. So this line right here represents your typical shell. You could draw another little segment right there if you wanted to. And the height of that shell is the y coordinate of the point that lies at the top of the region, which would be 2x minus the y coordinate at the bottom, which is x squared. And this is for every x between 0 and 2. And of course, the reason that that works is because this distance right here is x squared. So 2x take away x squared leaves the height of the shell. <laughs> the average radius is the distance from the axis of revolution to the center of your typical shell. Well, this distance is x. And this distance is always 2. So 2 take away x leaves this average radius. OK, so there's your average radius right there. For every x between 0 and 2, that's your average radius. So there's your definite integral. To evaluate, of course, you would uh, use FOIL to multiply these two binomials. Maybe put this 2 in there, but here's what it looks like. There's the original. There's after multiplying the two binomials together. Here's the antiderivative of the integrand. So evaluated f of, big F of 2 minus F of 0 is 4 thirds. And if we multiply that by 2 pi, we get 8 pi over 3, which has the same decimal approximation. So that's your exact answer right there. There you go. I'll include a link to the Desmos graph where this came from. And you'll see that you can actually move these points around to see different positions for, it and for the typical shell and the average radius. There you go. If you have any questions, post a comment.